Good morning, everyone. It's Allie, if you didn't know, and welcome to a day in my life as a medical receptionist. This video has been highly requested, so I can't wait to show you guys what I get up to in a day. I usually start off every morning bright and early, 5.45, that alarm goes off, and I dread it every day. I immediately go into the bathroom, put on my favorite podcast, Good, Good Influence by Gemma Style. Y'all should check it out and do all the normal bathroom things. Brush your teeth, go to the toilet, wash face, do the skincare, put the sunscreen on, you know, all of that good stuff. Then once I get ready for the day, it is time to take care of the puppers who is very excited in the mornings, especially once I mention F-O-O-D. You can see right here, he is very excited to eat. So I feed him about a cup and a half normally. And then he is always begging for more, but you know, he gets what he gets and he's grateful. <laughs> Look how good of a boy he is. He's so good with food, guys. He really is. He's the most obedient dog. And then I take him for some walkies. Good morning, everyone. So it is. 616, I'm running a little behind for Monday, but it's okay, it's a Monday, you gotta cut yourself some slack every once in a while. But I just took care of Tiger, and now I'm gonna take care of me. So I have a breakfast smoothie every morning. I'll put the um, ingredients, recipe, whatever, right here, in case you guys are interested. I'm about to head to work, but I just wanted to do a quick like scrub review. I, I don't know, I feel like these are very popular. If you are looking for scrub, these are the Grace Anatomy scrubs. Do not judge me, they make me happy. And I just got them off of Amazon, and it was like 60 bucks for the top and the bottom. So I mean, not the cheapest, but at the same time, like a lot cheaper than I know a lot of other scrub brands are. And they're really, really comfortable. Like I literally feel like I'm wearing pajamas. They have a good amount of pockets. They have a pocket on the leg. The only thing I would say, especially for the top, is size up. So I'm a medium and bottoms. The medium fits just fine. But um, for one of my other pairs, I got a small on the top and it fits. It's just a little tight. Whereas this is a medium and it's just perfect. I can move around. There etc but yeah and just like that I'm at my office my drive is very boring guys I'm normally just contemplating turning the car around and going back home because I am that tired in the morning so I go in clock in put my lunch in the fridge and then it is time for my day to officially start obviously everything is blurred here for my privacy and patients privacy and normally, once I get in there, turn on all the lights, I just get all my stuff, face mask, we are a doctor's office, they are still required, and my blue light blocking glasses so my eyes don't hurt me by the end of the day, and then I log in and get to work. So normally when I log in, I immediately pull up the, so the so software that we use for patients, and I pet little Sally, you'll learn more about her in a minute. And once I log in, I answer any urgent encounters that have come through over the weekend or uh, clean out my voicemails as I'm in charge of those. I make sure billing notes are done for all the patients so that way check in and check out is a lot smooth smoother. And yeah, just kind of get wake my scanner up because that thing is always asleep and is so slow. And yeah, just make sure everything's ready for the day as on Mondays and Tuesdays, the first patient is at 8 a.m. Then I go immediately to the break room and get more coffee because the tiny amount of coffee that was in my smoothie was clearly not enough for me on this Monday morning. And then it is time for me to unlock the doors. Like I said, I normally get to work around 7.30 in the morning. The first patient is at eight, so it gives me 30 minutes to really get things started. And that little fan water thing you see in the corner it looks really cool i know but believe me the buzzing sound it makes all day drives me and my coworker up a wall i would not recommend having this in your house this is sally she is my alter ego if i mess up at work and she is the one to blame for everything if i do mess up and then it's time to get the day started. The 
first patient comes in, I get them checked in, collect any co-payment, deductible, or co-insurance they might owe, and give them paperwork if they are a new patient. If you work in a doctor's office, you know exactly what I mean. Then I just get on with my day. I'll help out with faxes that come in. Like I said, I will just do some of my other jobs at this point. Like I'm in charge of insurance referrals. So a lot of times I'll call primary care offices first thing in the morning to get those done because that's basically the best time where I can immediately get someone on the phone and I'm not on hold for 20 minutes. And then right here, I'm calling someone in our billing department just to put in some notes for the day um, that has for some patients that came in later that day. Uh, billing notes weren't done and I didn't want to make the patient wait and cut into their appointment time. And this is me during lunch doing a little dance because it's finally lunch and I was starving. And just like that, back to work. Uh, this was me, I believe, on hold with the primary care office. I think because this day we were really busy, I had to wait. And I think I was on hold for like 20 something minutes. So I think at the five minute mark, I literally just put the phone on speaker, lowered the volume and went on about my work day <laughs> because that's just what you gotta do. And you know what? A lot of times patients don't mind the hold, me hold music, which is kind of shocking to me because I despise hold music. <laughs> Especially for this office, their whole music is awful. It sounds like static electricity in your ear. So like I said, I just get on with my work day. This is me put inputting new patient paperwork that they have filled out. And then I'm constantly lowering and um, upping the volume on the hold just to make sure I don't miss anything. I think here I'm writing down, I got a referral in, so I'm just writing down like how long the referral's good for and for how many visits, just because I do have to input this in the system. Okay, so we have a little break at work. Eric, what's the one we always say when we're here? Well, my parry. The other one. Well, I just work here. Oh, I just work here. <laughs> <laughs> that and a couple things we can't say on YouTube. Okay. So, I'm sorry about the terrible setup, and there's a good chance that you guys might fall. But I just have to rant, and I'm doing this so wrong. It is pouring down rain. But, so I just got off work. I got soaked coming back to my car. But what I don't understand is why are like, why are patients impatient? All right, you know what? Actually, I can't focus on this. I will rant when I get home. All right guys, I'm home. Sorry about that. I had to put the my phone up because uh, it was pouring down rain so bad I couldn't see the road. So yeah, not the best time to bitch, but yeah, I don't know when patients became so impatient. Like, I just, I don't get it. Like, number one, you're going to a doctor's office. Don't schedule a doctor's appointment before work, and your lunch break, or like right after work because like most places have cancellation policies, hello. Um, but no, I mean, we have patients come in and they're like, my appointment was 15 minutes ago. When am I gonna be seen? And I understand it's frustrating, like I, I get it. Like if your appointment was at 9.45 and it's like 10 o'clock and you still haven't been called back, like yeah, that's annoying, I understand that. But don't be rude about it. You know, this is a doctor's office. You're not the only patient in the world. You're not the only patient in our practice. Why do I look yellow? No. You're not the only patient in our practice. You're not the only patient being seen today, here. So like, why? Why are you being so nasty about it? Just, you know, it's fine to inquire like, hey, I'm just wondering how long it's gonna take before I get called back. I've been waiting for about 15 minutes. My appointment was 15 minutes ago. At that point, like the front staff's gonna be more cohesive with you, I guess, and more like, willing to help you because you're not screaming in their face. Um, I've been waiting here for 15 minutes. I should not be waiting longer than that. It's just, that was a lot of today. It's like, when am I gonna come, get called back? What's the hold up? What's this, what's that? It's like, ma'am, I work at the front. I don't know everything. They will call you back. You're checked in. Just exercise a little bit of patience. And then it's when people come in and they're like, oh, well, I have to be back at work. I'm like, okay, well, you're the dummy who scheduled a doctor's appointment in the, in the your, during your lunch hour. That's not my fault. You know, don't schedule 
schedule a doctor's appointment when you have time or if you have to at, come into work late or like if you can if you're able ask off a little bit i don't know it was just kind of annoying it was an annoying day like my coworker and i like who you just saw we were both a little irritable we had some stuff going on today that was just like aggravating and put us in an irritable irritable mood for the rest of the day but i mean it was a monday and then the weather just hasn't been great clearly um so that doesn't help, but I'm going to go work out and then... Okay, sorry guys, I had to get that off my chest. It was a very frustrating Monday, but then I go straight into my workout. I work out four days a week. You guys know the drill by now if you've seen my other videos. And then Tiger really, really wanted attention. So I stretched while petting him and he's just so cute. How do you say no to dad? Always stretch guys, it's very important. I also recommend investing in a foam roller. Those things are amazing. And then I take about five minutes just to myself to decompress for the day. And then it's back to my second job, which is YouTube. And here you see me just writing the script for the voiceover I'm currently doing. And then it is fun time for me, which means playing guitar. I've been watching you, Dad ain't that cool I'm your buckaroo, I wanna be like you And eat all my food and grow as tall as you are Then I'll be strong, Superman will be just like it Won't we, Dad, where I can do I've been watching you. <laughs> really film much in the last hour, hour or two. We really just ate dinner. We had an easy dinner of burgers and then we just played Harry Potter Legos, uh, which was fun. I'm a video for, for you guys with a little skincare routine, just like a walkthrough of what I use. Now, I'm not sponsored. This is not me bragging. I'm very fortunate to be able to have these products and get facials every month and really kind of give myself the quality care my skin good, deserves. But um, I just wanted to share it with you guys, but I think this brand is only like estheticians only because I cannot find it anywhere. Like I literally only get it from my esthetician. So the first thing is the Biologic Face Cleanser. I don't know if you can see that. I love this stuff. It's Jan Marini, that's the brand name. And this stuff is amazing. It gets rid of the little white bumps on your head, which I ha apparently I didn't know had a lot of. And even like my facialist says like she has seen a huge improvement since I started using this. And then during the day, so I use two different serums. During the day, I either use this hyaluronic acid serum by Le Moy, or I use the vitamin C serum by the same brand, Le Moy. Um, it kind of just depends which one she has. I really like both. The hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic serum, that really like keeps my face moisturized and not dry, while the vitamin C helps get rid of the redness I have on my face. I kind of prefer the vitamin C one because I'm using so many more like moisture rich products that the vitamin C, I, I care more about the redness, I guess. But again, this one's really good. I go back and forth between those two, just whatever she has. And then during the night, I use a retinol. Um, I will put down below what retinol does because if I'm honest, I can't remember right now, but this stuff feels so good on my face. I definitely have noticed it helps with redness also. It's to, it's to restore, this, restore the skin tissue is basically what it is to like a more youthful looking you. I don't know about all that, um, but I really, really enjoy this. It helps with the redness. It helps keep my face very moisturized, especially at night. And then I do have this, which I use once a week. This is a microdermabrasion cream by Clinicians Complex. I love this stuff. It literally, the smallest amount goes the longest way. So this stuff will straight up last me almost a year. 
And then the cream I use is my all-time favorite. Ah, I'm dripping water everywhere. Um, the C Plus Antioxidant Cream. I love this stuff. It is so rich. This is definitely for people with dry skin. Um, I didn't know how dry my skin was until I started exfoliating it. Um, but this stuff is amazing. It's super rich. So like it just, my face feels so nice and hydrated and smooth. I love it. And then I have two different eye creams. Again, I use one at night, one in the morning. Now I have genetic dark circles under my eyes. That's something that's never going to go away. Um, but I, I tend to look more towards like brightening eye creams and hydrated eye creams, things like that. So the first one I have is the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling Eye Mist. I really like this one for night because it makes my eyes feel very good and soothed after a long day of staring at a computer screen. This is really nice on my eyes. And then during the day I have this Naked Skincare Stem Cell Eye Cream. Um, it has caffeine in it. I don't know what this is the best. I got this off of Amazon. Um, it's going to last me a while. but. Uh, I, I notice a little bit, but again, it's so hard to tell with my eyes because again, I have the genetic dark circles, so nothing I put on it really does anything. But that being said, that's my little skin routine. Other than that, I just do the standard. I take multivitamins, I take biotin, um, and yeah, that's really it. I don't put anything else. Oh, of course, I put sunscreen on my face every single day. But that is my skincare routine in a nutshell. That is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along a day in the life of me of a medical receptionist and just what I get up to during the day at work. I'm so lucky to work with the people I do. They truly make the day just bearable. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked it, comment down below uh, what you do for your job or your, to make a living. Also hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and post notification button so you can be notified immediately when my videos go live. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you next week with a brand new vlog.